the Browns hired Kevin Stefanski, offensive coordinator from the Vikings. And I guess what is going to happen is they're going to be using a whole lot of analytics here. Um, I think Josh McDaniels went in there and said, look, I'll take this job, but you got to let me hire my guys and let me do it my way. And I think the Browns go, no, no, we, we would rather be involved in this and screw things up. Uh, and, and it feels like that that's what they're going to do. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Bucky Brooks, he uh, had this tweet. Uh, if this is true, uh, the Browns are really trying to take a baseball approach. The GM basically uses the head coach as a joystick to play the game the way he wants, just like baseball's analytic teams approach their games. Don't know why a head coach would agree to this plan. Um, I think we thought Josh McDaniels was going to take the job. I think what Josh did is he went in and said, look, the only way I can do this is if you let me do it my way. And that owner tends to meddle too much and probably said, I don't want to give up all of the control here. And that's why. And maybe Kevin Stefanski is the right guy for what they need at the right time. But I would, I'd be nervous going into that job. Yes, McLevin. So it wasn't the problem with Freddie Kitchens that he didn't have enough authority and sort of heft to manage all the personalities there. So they bring in a 37-year-old first-time coach. Is he – it feels like there's personality problems with Cleveland. Is he the guy to make all that come together? That's another thing that surprised me because keep in mind, Stefan Diggs, while seems to be a great kid, you know, he became a diva in Minnesota and they had a hard time handling that. I don't know if Kevin Stefanski was involved in that, but as the offensive coordinator, if you can't handle Stefan Diggs, good luck with the wide, wide receivers you have in Cleveland. Plus, I think that Gary Kubiak did a great job behind the scenes with that Vikings offense. Maybe he'll get promoted offensive coordinator, but Kevin Stefanski, you're bringing in another young guy. I needed somebody who has a little bit of a resume there. I just need somebody that the players are going to go, oh, okay. Because they do take inventory on this. Players do this where they go, what have you done? And if you got a guy who's at least been there with Brady, uh, you've won Super Bowls. Granted, you didn't do a great job as a head coach. That's 10 years ago. But, but to me, you got to go in and feel like you got a little bit of an advantage going into that locker room. And I don't know if... I don't know if the Browns have that situation. Yeah, McLevin. Are you okay if it's fourth and one and the coach has to listen to the analytics guy? Like he's got an analytics guy say, here's what we're doing. Okay, why can't you be listening to the analytics guy before the game starts? Well, during do. the week. Like fourth and one, they have programs. They have programs that say when you're in this situation and, you know, in this part of the field, you do this or this is what they do. That's the analytics department. I don't want somebody going, so you got an analytics guy going to be in your ear for then you to be in, in Baker Mayfield's ear? It's how it works in baseball. That's what they're saying. The yeah, Astros but, do. But you don't have to worry about time here in baseball. I mean, I can talk to you the entire game. You got to get a play in. Well, let the analytics guy call it. Well, if, if that's the case, fine. But Baker Mayfield, you're not, you got to simplify his job. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.